All right, welcome. Today we're gonna to talk about how you can take a variable and you can toggle its value between two different things, specifically between true and false. And this is a really basic programming thing that you can use for tons of different stuff. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about making a character run or sprint. And this tutorial will work for any kind of game that you have, doesn't matter if it's top-down, isometric, a side-scrolling platformer, anything like that. This is a really basic fundamental thing and it should slot in very nicely with anything that you have. So first, let me just show you what I have over here. Very basic, I have a blue square that's a sprite from my player, it's 16 by 16 pixels, and I have a player object with some very basic code in it. Here you can see uh, we have a very simple create event and a very simple step event. We're getting some keyboard inputs. We're using those to find an X and Y speed, and then we're moving the player based on those. This is exactly the same code as the code from another video I've done on this channel called How to Move and Collide in Top-Down Games. Like I said, it's on this channel. This doesn't actually include the collisions from that video because they're not needed for this one, but this won't mess with any collisions that you already have. So if you want this exact code, you can either copy it right now. This is the create event, this is the step event, or you can watch that full video for more in-depth explanations. But anyways, let's do this variable swapping. The most important thing in this is that you have a variable that's like move speed that is controlling the speed that your character is moving at. So for example, our default move speed is going to be one and we're multiplying the difference between our right and left key by that move speed to get like the final speed that we're actually gonna be adding to our X coordinate and same for the Y coordinate. Because to make ourselves run, we're gonna be manipulating this before we run this block of code. So let me just show you what I mean. So first we need two different speeds. We need a walking speed and a running speed, right? So let's go above any move speed type variable we have. And I'm gonna set a variable called walk speed to one and a variable called run speed to three. That's a pretty drastic difference, but it's just because we wanna see our results. And as I mentioned, we're actually gonna be finding this move speed variable dynamically based on these two. We're gonna be swapping between these two variables. So move speed doesn't really matter what it's set to right now. We could set it to zero if we wanted to. Might as well, just so you see how it works. Because again, this actually will be found in the step event. And lastly, we're gonna need one more variable and we're just gonna call it running and set it equal to false. I'm considering this to be kind of like a state variable because we'll either be in the running state or the not running state, right? So it'll just be a very simple on off type thing. Now that we have that set up, we can go into our step event and I'm gonna make some space in between where I'm getting my inputs and getting my X and Y speeds. First thing we need is a running button, right? So I'm gonna add a new input. I'm gonna call this run key pressed since we're looking for a button press, not holding it. I'm gonna set that equal to keyboard check pressed VK space. That'll be our run button for this demonstration. Now we need to do two things. Our big issue is our movement speed is set to zero right now in our create event. So we need to get that movement speed dynamically. And the way we need to do that is to check whether or not we're running. So here's the key component that we're learning right now. I'm gonna show you how to flip a variable back and forth between true and false. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is toggle our running variable. And that's super simple to do. Basically, we're gonna say if run key pressed, so if we pressed our running key, which is the space bar, then we want to set our running variable to not our running variable. When dealing with Boolean true or false values like this, when you put an exclamation mark in front of the variable name, it will return to you the exact opposite. So, so what's happening here is if we press our run key and our running is equal to true, then it will just set itself to be false. And the opposite is also true. And you can do this with any kind of true or false variable. And this is useful for tons and tons of scenarios. But right now we're making our character run. So now that we know whether or not we are running, we can set our movement speed based on our running variable. So logically, if running is equal to true, then we want to set our move speed to our run speed. Otherwise, we want to set it to our walk speed. So we can just say else set move speed to be equal to our walk speed variable. And that really is all there is to it. Remember, if you're fitting this into your own movement code, you need to check for your running variable and change your move speed variable or whatever equivalent variable that you have. You need to do that before you calculate any final movement speeds like your X speed or Y speed. But other than that, we are ready to check. So let's go into our room. I have my player here right in the middle. If you wanna check my room settings really quick, here they are, but otherwise let's test it. Okay, we're starting at our walking speed, which is very slow, one pixel per frame, and we can toggle on our running and we can toggle it off. Perfect. That's really all there is to it. Now, of course, we did this with running, but toggling a variable easily between true and false can be used for tons and tons of things. Say if the player had a flashlight, you could turn it on and off. It could just be used in settings menus for turning a setting on and off. It could be used in menus for whether or not you should be showing a certain menu panel to a player, swapping between your game being paused or unpaused. So yeah, feel free to go wild. And thank you for watching.